One thing that I think is interesting, so you look at the actor Zac Efron, and for a long time, honestly, he's been known as Troy from High School Musical. Those are pretty simple movies that are not dark or adult, anything like that. No, they're, te they're what you could call teeny bop movies or teenage, teenage drama films. That's another way you could describe them. They're pretty lighthearted, overall simple, not very long. And then Zac Efron has been in some other movies. I mean, he was in a movie called Seventeen again that came out some time ago. I don't remember exactly when, but I know the movie came out. He was in it. I've seen the movie before. I really enjoy it, but he didn't become really famous for being in that movie. And other than that, he wasn't really in much before 2023. But then he starred in the movie Iron Claw, which received great reviews. It was a big success when it came out. And so when you hear people talk about Zac Efron after Iron Claw, they're basically saying, wow, I didn't really realize this before, but Zac Efron is actually a really talented actor because he got to be in a more, he got to be in a movie like Iron Claw that got more attention and more people have talked about it made more of a splash than 17 again or the high school musical movies it, because you know, those movies are more lighthearted, simple, not very complicated. They can kind of make it harder to see that this person's actually a really good actor. Then Zac Efron got to play a dramatic role in Iron Claw, a movie that a lot of people have said it so good. It's such a emotional, heartbreaking movie. It tells its story very well. I think this is really interesting. You have an actor like Zac Efron that went from being in these kind of teen, simple, straightforward movies. I mean, high school musical was teen high, high school musical drama. Teen high school drama. And then it's 17 again is a sci-fi time travel family movie. I think that's the best way to describe it. And so it, those movies were, aren't really ones people are talking about as much. But then Zac Efron really made a big splash in Iron Iron Claw, to the point where a lot of people have said he should have gotten a nomination. He should have gotten an Oscar for his performance in Iron Claw. I mean, that's a big change from the way people were talking about him when they just knew him as the guy from High School Musical. But I think it's pretty interesting.